Hey there, welcome back to my channel. This is, surprise, another update on Minoxidil. I know my last video on Minoxidil was back in May and I said I wasn't going to make any more uh, videos. Um, back in May I had been using Minoxidil for about a year and I used it on my head for um, almost that whole year. After that I stopped using it on my beard. Um, and I came to the conclusion that I think that if you have uh, pores that were going to develop into hairs eventually, I think maybe that the minoxidil sped up the process a little bit. Um, but um, so therefore, I, you know, I, I stopped using it, and and since May, um, and here's a picture of the May. Uh, video that I did, uh, I think that my beard has grown in even thicker and this bald spot here is almost completely filled in. My mustache has definitely gotten thicker. So here's a close up on the, um, the mustache, as you can see it's a thicker, it's almost totally connected here and the bottom pretty much, I mean there's still some thinness here but it's not very patchy here on the sides um, and also um, I have some certain tricks that I do if you can see I have my boar's hair brush like that. and um, if you say your, your beard's a mess like that or it's like that what I do is I brush it down into the direction that I want it to go all in one direction and I think it makes it look a bit thicker so same thing on this side, if I was to mess it up and then draw it down, I think that looks thicker. Anyway, so I'm not going to, I don't use it on my, uh, my beard anymore, I'm pretty happy with that. This is where we're having probably a little bit more drama. Now I'll show you a picture of my hair uh, on day one of Minoxidil, use right here, and then I'll show you my head. So here we are today, and there we are when I first started. Um, <laughs> I really can't talk about it because I don't know what it looks like. But I think that um, I think that I'm finding it more hard to keep the hair on the top of my head. I think that if I stopped the minoxidil, I I think that more of it will fall all out. Um, so I have tricks. So what I do is, I actually let my hair grow longer on top, and since I have curly hair, I'll let it kind of dry naturally, and then kind of pat it down, and it'll leave it looking more thick on top. Uh, the male pattern hairline has definitely grown back. I do find occasional sparse hairs that grow out of my forehead, um, but it's not enough to consider leaving. It looks ridiculous, so I snip it off. Um, so anyway, I, I use like this pick and I, you know, pick my hair up like this and just kind of fluff it down like that. Okay, so while editing this video, I realized that my whole technique is wrong. Uh, I didn't realize how much hair I have actually lost off the top of my head and my technique of um, having my hair grow long and letting it just kind of lay there is not working um, so I had my wife cut my hair and cut it short up top and I think this is a better outcome so we're gonna go back to day one I'm in Oxidil right here and then earlier today and then after the haircut and I think this is much better. I think that, you know, it's a decent look from the front, from the side. So, uh, I think that's what I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna have to do. It's a, it's a, it's a learning process, so. Also, I make sure that I don't wash my hair every day. Um, you can condition your hair every day, or at least I do. I think that washing your hair uh, dries it out, but you do need to get whatever like product you, you have in your hair out of your hair so your, your follicles can breathe, and so the minoxidil can actually go in and work. Um, so I do um, you know, find a good conditioner. I use Pete and Pedro's conditioner here, and 
Also, um, when you're styling your hair, I also use like a precondition or, or a pre-treatment kind of thing. It's a salt treatment by Pete and Pedro. I don't know if it works, but that's what I do. And um, yeah, um, so that's what I'm doing, you know, to save to save whatever hair I have left on my head. Um, like I said, when I get tired of using minoxidil, I will stop and it'll take about three months and it'll probably start falling out again. And um, but I'm not ready to go that route yet. And uh, here are the two products. So Rogaine is the brand name and minoxidil is, is basically the generic. Um, and the Rogaine is a foam. This is foam and this is a like a liquid or a serum. And um, I've switched off back and forth between the two. Uh, first I used the serum, then I used the foam, like the foam better, but now I'm back to liking the serum better. So um, yeah, uh, at any rate, it's, it's the same product, just comes in different forms. So yeah, so, so that's my, my short and sweet update on um, where I am on Minoxidil and um, please follow me on my other journeys. Uh, coming really close is the road to Meta because I have my metodioplasty planned for June of this year which is 2019 so that's coming up real close. Uh, I do have my uh, giveaway sponsored by GC2B. I have my giveaway sponsored by Transwear and uh, whatever else I put up. So um, we'll be seeing you around. Uh, it, please, if you like this video and the content, please give it a thumbs up. <coughs> please uh, hit that subscribe button. Why not? Tell your friends about this channel. We have some great stuff going on here. And uh, hit that notification bell so you know when there's another video out for you. All right, we'll see you next time. <coughs> Okay. Done.